Hey Media Mail Gang, it's Katie with Katie Reads and we are currently in South Haven. Doing a little weekend beach vacation and you know we had to come to the thrift stores. So first stop is this Goodwill and we'll see what I can find. So guys, obviously I've never been to this Goodwill before, so as soon as we walk in, I'm kind of looking around, figuring out the layout of the Goodwill, and then I see the books. So, you know, I immediately go to the books. However, I am cautious. I have a storage unit full of free inventory right now with my books, and it kind of doesn't make sense for me to be shopping for books right now. So instead, I chose to check out the DVDs first. I'm always looking for certain titles that I have sold before for over $30. Uh, they're kind of hard to find, but when I do find them, I immediately grab them. So that's what I'm doing here, just kind of browsing the titles. And then I noticed that a lot of the top shelf at this Goodwill are like romance novels, audiobooks of romance. Uh, a lot of those just, they don't do well for me. Maybe if I had them for free and wanted to try and throw them on whatnot, auctions, um, maybe, but to pick them up from goodwill to try and resell on ebay is a no-go for me so anyways i'm just looking around at the different items that they have as far as books not really seeing anything that sticks out to me not even really anything that i like want to scan and send into amazon i'm kind of being picky about my amazon inventory right now uh, then i see this book it was really pretty that's the first thing that caught my attention is that it was pretty and then just you know, overall, I decided to look it up on eBay and found out that it was kind of worth it to sell on eBay. So I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to take it home. I think I'm going to read it and then I'm going to try and resell it. So that's what I ended up doing. Now, as I am wrapping up glancing at the books, I do take a gander at the linens. I've been learning a lot from Kath and Nurse Flipper, and so I decided, you know what, I'll give it a shot. I'll check out these linens and see if I can find anything that might be worth it. Um, I keep adjusting my GoPro. I'm, I'm still learning how to like have it at a good angle that I need uh, in the Goodwill store. There's Tay looking at the electronics. Izzy and the baby so cute and I kind of glance at the electronics but they have a high return rate and I know there's money in them but it's just not my cup of tea so I do decide to move on over to an area Tay tells me about something that I like to send into Amazon so I decided to go to a different area and check that out all right and now I am looking at the glassware again I'm just trying new things and checking out different things than I have done in the past I am taking my eBay a lot more seriously this year especially now after having the baby I am focusing exclusively on reselling and Etsy so I'm trying to find hard goods to sell on eBay. So I'm kind of checking out a lot of different things. I know there's good money in teacups and teapots. So I do check these out, look at maker's marks. I have no clue what I'm doing, but I do know that Japan hand painted things are nice. They do sell well, uh, they can anyways. So I found this one. I really, really liked this one and wanted to give it a shot. I was able to find the Made in Japan and it does appear to be hand painted. So I did a little bit of research and I did decide to pick this one up and give it a whirl. Now I'm kind of glancing at the plates. Plates, I just haven't gotten into plates just yet, um, but maybe one day. And then here I'm just kind of glancing at some sold comps of different similar teapots that have sold. And I like what I see. I think I can get around 25 bucks for it. So I'm going to put it in my cart. And now that situation kind of motivates me to look at other teapots. 
to see what they have. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but I hate how they put the sticker right on the bottom of the maker's mark. It's like, it's like they know. I don't know. It's annoying. This one I wish I would have picked up. I think it would have done better as a set with the other one that I got. This one was hand painted too. You can't really see it, but it did say Japan at the bottom. Um, but I, I chose to pass again. I was being picky. Um, this one probably could have sold too, but again, I couldn't see any maker's mark. I was having a hard time getting the sticker off, so I just moved on. Uh, probably one of my biggest complaints is with hard goods like this, they just put the stickers in like the worst spot. It's just like with books. This kind of reminded me of my grandma. <laughs> she had a set like this uh, growing up as a kid with like the plates and the butter dish and all of that um and then I remembered oh yeah it was a pretty big set that she had so one item all on its own might not be worth it this was really really pretty but again the price point on that one they wanted $4.99 for that and I was like eh, I don't know the profit margin is there this I thought was super super cute really unique um and I could see the maker's mark so I was like you know what let's look this up let's see what we can get for it All right, and now I am looking at teapots still, <laughs> pretty much. They had quite a selection there. So I'm looking at teapots, um, some of the salt and pepper shakers I was taking a gander at, just looking pretty much at any and all things. Now, the teacups were nice. Uh, I was contemplating picking a few of them up, but the reality is, is you really need to have the whole set and the matching saucer um to get the most money for it and this store was a little bit expensive with some of their hard goods so i really wanted to purchase a whole set if i was going to do that the set that i did find it wasn't really amazing so i chose to not grab that set but my ocd kind of kicked in so i was like organizing <laughs> the set together at least so that way if someone did come around and wanted to grab a set the set was already there and ready to go. So here I noticed these McDonald's glass uh, Batman Forever cups. And I'm thinking, okay, 90s, um, maybe early 2000s. I can't remember when the movie came out, but I'm thinking nostalgia regardless and vintage. So I take a gander on eBay and check out the sold listings. Look at Tay. Aw, isn't he cute? So anyways, I'm looking at the sold listings. And um, I couldn't really find it at first. But then I did find it in the solds. And they were selling as sets of four. Which kind of sucked because there was only two there. Um, but I'm still going to go for it. I think I'm going to probably get... A little bit less than what I could if it was a set of four but there aren't a whole lot listed either um, so I decided to grab them and put them in my car and give it a shot so I decided to give one last look to the books and then I noticed that Tay is holding the baby which means he's probably getting fussy and I was right So it's time to go. This is the wrap up of what I found at the Goodwill in South Haven. Pretty much everything is in this box. I found some other items that I sent into Amazon and I'm not going to share that. I don't share everything. Um, that's just kind of how it goes sometimes with the reselling world. Otherwise, I'm pretty transparent about a lot of the stuff that I find and I sell. So this book was one of the first things that I grabbed. 
I honestly grabbed it because it looked cool. Um, it's by Harper Publishers. I don't know this author. I kind of picked it up for myself and then I looked up comps and I was like, hmm, I think I'm going to read it and then try and sell it because the comps were anywhere from $7 pre-owned to all the way up to $25, um, $40. Bucks. I mean, just all over the place types of comps. So we'll see what happens. In really good shape. So after I read it, I think I could get at least $15 for it. I have, uh, I'm channeling my inner cat with nurse, the nurse flipper. I found some teapots and the comps on these were really good. Um, and there's no, there's none listed like this. It's uh, Susan Branch is the brand. And I got this for $2.99. I think, um, you know, I'm gonna try and list it at 50. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna shoot really high, have best offers on and kind of gauge the market as it's listed out there for a little while and then bring the price down. But even if I got a $20 bill out of this, that's really exciting. Um, and it's a new category, something I haven't done before. So um, still staying faithful to books, but because I have a storage unit full of books, which I'm probably gonna mention in the um, voiceover in this video, I'm kind of staying away from buying books right now. I need to go through my storage unit of my free 99 books first. And then I can start purchasing more inventory when it comes to books. But hard goods, I'm kind of dabbling in. And I really want to start getting into like glass and more vintage related items. So we'll dabble with that. And then next were these glass uh, Batman Forever mugs. They were $2 each. Um, they were from McDonald's. I could only find two. It does come in a set of four. But I still think I could get some de decent profit off of these. Um, hoping to get like 20 to 25 you'll kind of notice the theme I'm trying to get at least $15 or more per item now if I'm paying money for it if I'm getting it for free then I can I can settle for like you know five to ten dollar bill profit if I'm getting something for free but if I'm putting money into it even if it's just a dollar or two I'm really trying to shoot for $15 or more for an actual sale price or profit margin type of deal now this is just a generalized made in Japan. I am going to give it a shot and see what I can get for it. I'm going to cross list this between Etsy and eBay and see which platform it sells on first just because Etsy does kind of have a market for vintage. That's pretty much what I grabbed. Like I said, I was kind of being selective already and then everything with my storage unit full of books. I'm not grabbing more books right now. You know, that's kind of what I'm focusing on is like hard goods when I'm out and about at the thrift store. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.